Hello and welcome to Vision Academy. My name is Hanuman Ladwa and in this video we are going to write a C++ program to convert days into years, months and days. So let us write the preprocessor directives hash include in the angular brace we are going to write iostream.h header file and the next preprocessor directive is hash include in the angular brace we are going to write console input output.h header file. Now let us write wide main function curly open brace indicates this is the beginning of body of a main function and here in a declaration section we are going to declare all the necessary variables that are to be used in the program with respective data type here i am going to write int i'll write the variable called total days without any space then comma here i'll take one more variable called days the next variable is year and the next variable is month and then put semicolon now i'm going to write clr ssr function which is used to clear the screen now we will ask the user to enter the total days in cout statement so cout stream insertion operator in the double quotation mark i'm going to write enter the total days and end the double quotation mark and put semicolon and we are going to receive the value from the user through keyboard using scene statement here i'm going to write scene stream in, uh, extraction operator and then i'm going to use this variable called total days and put semicolon now we are going to go for calculating the number of years present in the total days here i'm going to write year is equal to total days uh, here i'm going to write integer division by 365 because in a year we'll be having 365 days so that's the reason we have to divide the total days by 365 so whenever i use a forward slash that indicates it's an integer division which always returns us the quotient now let us write total days is equal to here i'm going to write total days modular division by 365 so modular division always gives us the remainder so after removing the number of years from the total days how many total days are left out can be determined by total days modular division by 365 now we are going to calculate months so here i'm going to write month is equal to total days then i'm going to write um, integer division by 30 because in a month we will be having 30 days next we'll calculate the remaining days here i'm going to write days is equal to total days modular division by 30 and then put semicolon so it is going to give us the remaining days from the total days so total days modular division by 30 gives us the remainder or remaining days now let us print year month and days so here in a c out statement stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark i'm going to write years is equal to end the double quotation mark it will be printed as it is then stream insertion operator and now i'm going to take this variable called years so here it is going to print the value stored in this variable called year okay actually we have taken year here only take year so then stream insertion operator and l and put semicolon next we are going to write c out stream insertion operator in a double quotation mark we are going to write months is equal to end the double quotation mark and then the value stored in this variable called month then stream insertion operator and l next we are going to write c out stream insertion operator in the double quotation mark i'm going to write days is equal to end the double quotation mark stream insertion operator and then i'm going to write the variable called days then i'll write stream insertion operator end l and here i'm going to write get ch function and then curly closing brace for this main function now let us take an example here i'm going to write output once we compile and run this program it will ask the user to enter the total days enter the total 
days. For example, I am going to enter 396. So now the total days, total days is equal to 396 because here we have taken scene. So whatever the value will be entered by the user, so it will be stored in a total days. Now we are going to calculate year. Here I'll write year is equal to total days is 396 integer division by 365 so 365 ones are 365 ones are so here it is going to return one one will be stored in year next we'll go for total days here i'm going to write total days is equal to total days right now the value of total days 396 modular division by 365 so as i told you Modular division always gives us the remainder. 365 ones are 365 ones are 396 minus 365. So what it gives us? This gives us 31. So now the total days is 31. Now we are going to go for calculating month. Here I'm going to write month is equal to total days. Total days is 31 integer division by 30. So this always returns us quotient 30 ones are 30 ones are so it is going to return one so one will be stored in month now we are going to calculate days so days is equal to total days is what total days is 31 then modular division by 30 so modular division always gives us the remainder so 30 ones are 30 ones are 31 minus 30 is one so one will be stored in days now we are going to print see out years here it is going to print years is equal to the value stored in year is what it is one next see out month so it is going to print months is equal to the value stored in month that is one next uh, days here i'm going to write days is equal to the value stored in the variable days is one so 396 days means one year one month one day let us execute this program for that i will take you to my laptop screen here you can see i have already written this program in turbo c plus plus compiler to save your time let us compile this program by pressing alt f9 here it is showing success that indicates there is no syntax error and now i'm going to press enter let us run this program by pressing ctrl f9 here it is asking the user to enter the total days for example i'm going to enter 396 and then i'll press enter here you can see it is printing years is equal to one months is equal to one days is equal to one i hope you understood this program if so please write down in the comment box as understood thank you mm -hmm.